Uh, can you speak about the different points at which you leveled up your skills in the realms of pen testing? Uh, some of the big projects or opportunities you grabbed a hold of and how these made you a better threat researcher? Wow, that's a great question. Um, so it, it's important to know that uh, that uh, there were there were several shifts within the industry uh, throughout the years. So mm -hmm. if I began my 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 professional journey around tw 2005, okay. uh, since then the all the industry have been changing and shifting all the time. So this also speaks to what kind of penetration testing jobs and, and, and infosec job in, in jobs in general were present to me and others as well. Mm -hmm. um, luckily for, for me and the others in the industry, there was a place for our talent. So uh, this was like the first uh, initiation of those kind of industries and everything. Because of that, it, it was shaped around that. So skills were, were very different from, from each other. Everyone came with a different set of skills because everyone had a different set of, uh, uh, I would say, experiments and uh, mm -hmm. and something that, uh, that they find themselves uh, doing uh, in 2 a.m. without noticing. Um, so part of it to your question, I think that the most important thing for me especially uh, was to go broad, like mm. not to be focused on a single uh, technology or a single uh, tactic that uh, you, you just use it as a hammer or, or everything looks like nails, right. uh, but to go very, very broad if it's infrastructure, if it's operate, operating system, if it's encryption, malware, insert response at times. Um, and by that, it, I think it gave me a lot of, first of all, first of all firsthand experience but also ever ignited my uh, passion for security or ever, or ever again. So I wasn't bored for a second. If, if I was bored for one specific case, I could put it to rest and, uh, and uh, start something else adjacent yeah. to that. So I think that this is the, the, most, the most crucial thing in penetration testing is to go broad because um, if you are looking at, at, through a pinhole, you will find you will be the best, the, the best uh, and the sharpest uh, knife in the drawer. Uh, but once you have something off off your scope and something that you need to to take advantage of, yeah. you won't be even noticing that. So I mm -hmm. won't say I, I won't say that there, there is no place for sharpener knives. Of course there is, but if, at least have some kind of perception to yeah. the other realms as well. So you you'll be able to connect the dots and to complement that with, uh, of course, more research and more uh, education towards the ones needed. That that lines up with um, something that I discussed with a previous guest. Uh, Gemma Moore is a pen tester in the UK, and she was saying for people who started this type of work in the late 90s and uh, early 2000s that you didn't have these prepackaged pen testing tools, you know, and on one hand, like a lot of that sort of automated aspect of it makes it easier to go deeper and get more specialized. But the thing that she really appreciated about this time, and it sounds like that's the case with you as well, is that there were less tools, but you had to be better at them and you had to do a lot more lateral thinking. Does that sort of line up with your experience of those days? Absolutely. Yeah, she, she put it very, very nicely. Yeah. I'm excited to announce that our InfoSec skills platform will be releasing a new challenge every month with three hands-on labs to put your cyber skills to the test. Each month, you'll build new skills ranging from secure coding to penetration testing to advanced persistent threats and everything in between. Plus, we're giving away more than $1,000 worth of prizes each month. Go to infosecinstitute.com challenge and start your challenge right now.